And one more possibility for objects moving in circles that we'll deal with is objects moving in circles in the vertical plane. And in this case, this is not going to be uniform circular motion. This is not going to be a situation where the velocity remains constant. This is a situation where the velocity can change, which means the net force or the centripetal force is going to be different in different situations. Because naturally at the top of a circle something is going to be moving slower than it will be at the bottom of a circle. Just like if you consider doing a loop-to-loop -loop in a roller coaster. You're always going to be going faster at the bottom going into it and coming out of it than you are at the very top. So we're going to examine a situation where an object is at the top of an inside loop and in this case we've got forces of uh, weight and the normal force. So both weight and the normal force are pointing in this direction because well obviously your weight is going to be pointing down but also since the track is above you and keeping you in the circle the normal force of the track itself is also going to be pointing down and so the combination of those two forces results in your centripetal acceleration. Your centripetal acceleration in this case happens to be down so I'm going to choose positive to be uh, the downward direction which allows me to have all of my forces be positive values. So I've got weight plus normal force equals M A C. Again, like always, this is my Newton's second law statement. Sum of the forces equals M A. The individual forces are weight and normal. It just so happens that the A in this case results in a centripetal motion, a circular motion. So we deal with A in the same way. I'm just going to label it C because I know that this acceleration results in a circular motion. This is an acceleration uh, primarily of changing direction, although in this case it is partly resulting in a changing velocity. Well, one interesting part about going around in loop-to-loops is that you feel lighter as you're going around the top. This should make intuitive sense because you know that when you're at the top of a roller coaster going over the loop you feel lighter. But it also makes mathematical sense because if we solve for n, n being the force you feel, the force of something pushing into you, the normal is equal to m ac minus mg. So we have the magnitude of the centripetal force minus mg. So you know we're having a value and taking something away from that value that makes that value smaller. So the normal force is going to be a smaller value than it would be if you were say standing still. On the other hand, if you are at the bottom then you've got the normal force upward, you've got your weight downward, and the centripetal acceleration is upward. So at the bottom, a different part of the roller coaster, and so a different situation entirely, we're now going to use upward as the positive direction to correspond with the direction of the acceleration. So the direction of the acceleration is positive. In this case, we've got the normal force upward minus the weight equals m a c. And the normal force by itself is equal to m a c plus m g. So this is telling us that the normal force is not only supporting m g, your weight, it is also causing an upward acceleration. Similar, so this is a situation similar to standing inside an elevator where the floor of the elevator not only holds you up but also accelerates you upward and as a result you feel slightly heavier. So the normal force in this case is going to be greater than mg. And the normal force in this case is less than the magnitude of mg. So one fun thing about roller coasters is that moment when you feel weightless.
essentially you feel as though there is nothing pushing on you and you are in that momentary you know, sensation of weightlessness. In that case, the normal force could actually be equal to zero. So in that moment, if this were zero, that would mean that MAC is equal to MG, showing us that at that moment, the centripetal acceleration is equal to that of gravity. And it's a situation like this where the curvature of the loop is just right so that essentially you are behaving as though you are an object in free fall. As if something were just tossed up into the air and now both you